Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected with me all the time. Uh, so hello everyone welcome to my channel again so this is a very interesting and amazing video for you guys so in this video i'm going to talk about the especially the node.js how can you create a rest api using the node.js suppose i have as you can see the api reference of the cqlize.org so it's master if you go to that cqlize you will get all of the documentation how to create model based on it how to query it how to do raw queries how to do association a lot of things so basically the cqlize is a very interesting idea how to create ORM which is object relational mapper in node.js as you can see we can do this and we can use mysql postgres and many sql based database but normally we don't use node.js with sql we normally use node.js with mongodb but here most of the people like to use node.js with mysql at least uh, in my area or in my country bangladesh so most of the cases people always like to love and use mysql databases with the node and in many cases even in the laravel they use that and even in the node.js and the django platform also the django risk framework also they use those kind of things so i'm going to create a complete guide how to you can make from start to finish uh, and a complete finished product with two parts this is the part one i'm going to show you only the crude product at the crude application of the crude api of the part and you don't need to write raw queries like in the mysql that you do so if you go to uh, w3 schools see what we are here as you can see we can connect mysql with the node as you can as you can see you need to write all those kind of thing you need the sql library packages and all of those things and give your credentials and connect it so this is another way you can create a database you can create a tables so all of the things you can, you can insert some data as you can see you can insert some data based on it and you need to write raw queries as you can see sql insert into the customer's name address value all of those things so i don't want to write raw sql because this is a very huge pain when you want to join one or two tables so for that we're going to use the uh, node.js with sqlize orm so that we can do it very easily very fastly so we can do all of those things very properly so let's jump into it and let's see how we can do this so for that you need to use the postman as you can see i already set up the postman as you can see the api should look like this kind of thing and you need to install that postman which is very useful software and need to use zamp as you can see if, if you use zamp as you can see if you use zamp and make sure you just start the server uh, otherwise it will not work and make sure you are admin okay just to go and create our node application so let's go to our file structure as you can see node express sql as mysql api uh, i know this is a perfect name because we're going to use node express sql as mysql and complete rest api so i'm going to open it with uh, our visual studio code and by the way i'm using windows 11 so it is giving it a, as a nice performance and i really like the animations it's super smooth as you can see it's super awesome so let's go and let's start and this is our main root directory um, new terminal we need to create our node application so for that you need to write npm init so this is very important if you write npm init it will just um, make a node application for you and this is the package name this is the version name and give some description suppose node express crude api with cq sqlize okay so our main entry point should be server dot js file and no test command no git and keyword should be node express mysql okay author give your name okay license and it is okay so perfect so as you can see our node application is created with this kind of information like keyword author and those kind of information okay now we need to install some packages so if you go to the npm js so let me go to the npm js and here you will find all the packages that you need to create your node application and whichever library you want to use suppose i want to use um, express which is a very popular package as you can see if you can if you go see express if you click on this and it's a very famous library as you can see thousands of crores of crores of download and just install it npm i express and we also need sqlize we need that 
so so that we don't need to write the raw queries we can uh, create our object relational mapper so that we can do a uh, model creations and queries very effectively and perfectly so as you can see multi dialect orm for node.js for no it is especially for the node.js if you click on this as you can see we can uh, see the sqlize and you can install this npm i sqlize okay so this other thing we need and we also need mysql2 which is another package to connect with our mysql okay mysql2 just search mysql2 just uh, make it comfortable and as you can see npm I mysql2 all of the packages may be look really difficult for you but when you work with node.js you need to install those kind of libraries very effectively and very easily and you can go to the npm js as you can see in this um, url and you can get a lot of information how you can do that so as you can see we we just use raw queries all of those things but i don't like to do raw queries i just want to do it more efficient and more professional way and i'm going to use the mbc pattern all, uh, as well in this application and here npm i that is save if you want to do it for the production level because we want to install that in the production as well there because we need this kind of library very important which is express and then we knew we want sqlize as e q u e l i z is sqlize and we also need course to cross origin uh, access to all of the client because we want to uh, add our react project and uh, consume this api in the react in the third part which is also we need for course which is cross origin resource management actually so that we can get this information onto the third party web browser we can show this information otherwise there would be some huge uh, error course error okay so we need that and we also need mysql2 to connect with the mask mysql if you want some other some uh, postgreSQL you need some that postgreSQL instead of mysql2 but express sqlize course my and mysql those are the four important things which is very essential so let me install and if you want to install nodemon you can do this but i'll just keep it simple so as you can see our express sqlize uh, course mysql all of those things is uh, installed properly so now what i have to do i need to uh, just create some folder and file structure so our first file structure should be server.js uh, this is our main file that will run our server and what we're going to do we need to create some folders first we need some models and then we need some controllers so our models and controllers are important for MVC, and then we need our router for you can say routes and then we need our config because of the config information some database information which is also very important just uh, I'm gonna name it as new folder which is db config.js let's work with our server.js file so in the server.js file what i'm going to do is just import our express which is const express is equals to you just write a require express and you need course which is uh, cross origin resource management which is also very important and this is also uh, required which is course then we just instantiate our app which is um, express okay the, this is the same expert that we just uh, require what what we have installed and now we can access many app uh, app dot get or app dot listen and app dot use all of those things so that's why it's important so now we, what we have to do we have to just write course options is equals to origin is equals to we need to write http slash local host and local host and the port should be 8081 so this is the port and the this is the url that we giving access to all of our information of the api if third party api like uh, some other people want to use it they can go to this url this origin and you use that so what i'm going to do app.use and this is the middleware that you are using and the middleware should have the course and course have some course options and app.use so we need to use express and json because in the api we are getting all the information in the api in the json format as you can see uh, in the body in the json as you can see we are we are putting all the information in the api in the json format so we must need that express.json otherwise it will never work 
okay then app dot use and we also need to write express dot url encoded and url encoded we need to pass extended is equal to true for those information as you can see returns middleware that only parses url encoded bodies and only looks at request while content type header match the type of the options so these are the things suppose we this is the header we have this information like title uh, price description all of this information is coming from the request.body as you can see so for that uh, to get all this information we need to do that so this is very important and these are the simple middlewares so you can write a comment middlewares you can write a testing uh, api which is app.get so this is just a dummy to test our application so nothing serious so app.get and slash and you just need to write request and response because it has two information which is request and response and response.json and you're gonna send the response in the json format and we're gonna write message hello from api so this is the simple when you hit this url slash you, you're gonna see some response with the message of this okay and it should be port is equals to process dot env dot uh, port which is for the production level and if it is not working just just use 8080 port and then you need to run the server and server is simple constant uh, you just need to write app dot listen based uh, on the port number and then what you're gonna do and console.log after the port is uh, you connected to the port you just need to console.log and in the back tick you just write server is running on port and you just can write port okay so we are using back tick so that we can access the variable as you can see this variable because we want to know which port it is running so we are creating a port and just creating a server and we're going to testing this api and this, these are the simple middlewares for accessing the JSONs from the body and these are the course and express app so these are the simple basic structure what i'm going to do so now if i going to test this app and we just need to write save it first and this is server.js okay so this is important so we need to write node server.js and as you can see server is running on port 8080 so if you go localhost 8080 80 you're gonna see hello from api then you can go to the so remember this is just a part one so we will do all the hectic thing in part one and go to db config and put some configuration okay so these are the very important thing database information and just write uh, module dot export because we want to use that in another file that's why you need module dot export in node we use that okay this is very very important and you just write host is equals to uh, it should be colon and it should be local host host should be local host and then you're gonna use user and user should be root okay and then you use password password should be null here in case you can uh, use it and db should be node uh, underscore sqlize uh, underscore api db okay so this is the local host this is the user and uh, this is the password and this is the db so these are the four information which is very important then one more information which is uh, dialect and this is dialect means which kind of sql or the database that you're using it can be postgres it can be mysql whatever you like and then it should have a pool and pool should have some information which is maximum uh, connection is five which a maximum pool you can use uh, five okay and minimum should be zero by default this is not very important but you need to use that because in the documentation there is having this kind of information if you go to the sqls documentation you will find it i highly suggest you just uh, look out for if you want to get the better knowledge then you need uh, a cqu acquire and acquire should be thirty thousand. so this is the uh, this is the time that we want to acquire it for and the idle time for this database uh, should be 10,000 
millisecond so this is all the information max mean uh, pool is important if you don't want to use it you can skip this part also okay this is not that important but uh, this is uh, good to know then another part which is in model we ha will have our three part so first one is uh, index.js okay so this is inside the model so we need to just get the db config here is equals to require and require dot dot slash config slash db config dot js we are importing this file this of the information host user password db dialect pool inside this uh, file as you can see in the index in the model okay we need that we need that very often very important it is and just write const sqlize uh, sqlize and we're gonna get the sqlize from require sqlize that we just installed because this is super important and you also need one more thing which is data types so types of data and uh, we're gonna use this data types in the model creation you will see it within a very short time so don't worry about it so this is very important then we need to write uh, const sqlize this is the we are creating the instance of the sqlize uh, constructor as you can see we in the sqlize constructor we need to pass some information and in this pass information should be dbconfig dot db which is database information and we can get this information because in the db config we just export the host user db all of those things and we are accessing each, each of this first is the db okay we are getting all of this information then we just db config dot user and db config dot password and we need um, one more should be host um, is equals to db config dot host because the host is the local host here and dialect is equals to db config dot dialect so all of the information is coming from the config file and then you can use operators lass is equals to false all of the error that you have in your information if you have some errors suppose when running this application it will override all the errors using the operator LISS so this is it is not very important but just write it whatever I write because uh, I, I will use the best practices because uh, because I like to show you the code with the best practices which is very important to understand you just instantiating all the database information user uh, password co-host dialect operator analysis from the db config file we are getting all of this and in the CQLize we need this information database information so those are the very important fields that we want here is pool and in the pool and you need to use max and max is coming from actually dbconfig.pool.max if you go to the dbconfig file as you can see it will go to dbconfig that pool and max okay then it will put dbconfig.pool.min uh, this way so you just uh, just you can copy this thing and you can write it should be min and this should be min and this should be acquire and this should be acquire and then we have idle which is dbconfig uh, dot pool dot pool dot idle okay so this is the information is super important then we need to authenticate it so how can you authenticate we can authenticate using sqlize dot authenticate as you can see very important thing we can uh, use sqlize dot authenticate and when we authenticate we can use then uh, when we authenticate then we need to use a fat arrow function then what will happen after uh, we just want to console dot log this because what will happen we need to identify that you just need to write connected or anything connected and then you need to catch some error if there is some error what will happen okay so you need to identify that as well and then to write console.log and you just write error plus error okay so this is very important then you need to initialize const db is equals to so empty object in the empty object i need to put something 
and uh, before that uh, i need to just make sure in the config i need to just get the database name properly uh, node sqlize api.db and you need to go to the local host to, to the uh, database php my admin because we connected the xamp properly as you can see and let me create a new database for you and just go to the new and just give the same database name okay uh, node sql uh, sqlize api db it is created and you don't need to do anything else so these are the api node sqlize api db so you don't need to do any other thing everything would be done automatically just give the database name so after you do all of those things go to index and here you can write uh, db dot sqlize is equals to sqlize this is the constructor that we are sqlizing as you can see we need to do that and we need to sqlize the instantiation which is CQ, this sqlize is actually this sqlize this is the instance so you can do that and we need to sqlize that as well so those are the two information and then we need to write db dot products and this is the table name of your database products okay so always remember that if it is post you need to write posts like that sqlize and we just need to write database so this is very important or the data types and this data types is actually this data types okay and then you need to do the same thing for uh, reviews okay and in this place you're gonna write dot slash review model dot js and you need to sqlize that as well so this is done so these are these two parts is important these two parts important because you want to sqlize all those models and based on those data types that you're gonna put and the data type should be like a title price description those are the data uh, that you're gonna see okay in the reviews also you're gonna see those kind of information so these two information is super important then what we can do we can db dot sqlize dot sync and the sqlize have a sync method and in the sync you can just write force is equals to false so there is a big meaning in here which is also really really important to understand for the beginners uh, so if you write is force is equal to true every time you run the server or this run this application or this api you will lose all of your data and if you don't have a particular table uh, with that name it will uh, it will create it and if it is does not exist it will create and even if you just uh, make sure it is force is equal to true uh, it will recreate every single information and you will lose all of your information in the database in the tables but if you create it false it will not create again and again okay so this is the important you can do it true as well but normally i just keep it false uh sql is equal to false and what you're gonna do and you're gonna use then and then what you're gonna do and you're just gonna console.log which is also very important it means that yes right yes uh, resync done okay so when the sync is complete you just need to write uh, yes sync is done every time you run the server it will run this thing and then you need to just module dot exports you just export this db and this database actually has a uh, has a name of the table names products and reviews and this products uh, products table will contain everything that we specify in this product model and the review table will do every single thing that we specify in the review table and sqlize them based on their data types so that we can do object relational mapper so these are the information which is so important in the index.js file and we're going to use this db again and again uh, in many different files now we need to work with our main midi part which is the very easy and easy to understand and very fun stuff which is product model and the review model so our third step is very easy we need to write module.exports and in the module.exports you just need two information which is sqlize because we need to use sqlize and the data types and the data types is also important and we don't need to import that by the way we just need sqlize and data type and here we're gonna do our main thing which is const uh, product because our main model name is product if you have a post model you can use post 
and this will use cqlize.define and this is the main part if you see the documentation of cqlize you will see that kind of thing this is the product model name this is the uh, the capital letter product and cqlize.define and it will have a name of product because the it's, it's the product is our main entity name product it will have a different kind of attribute and you can give it any name but i will give it singular very important and in the index.js i just name it products because pro database the table name should be uh, products and reviews including the s okay so normally you in the sqlize.define you just use the normal without s okay so this is very important and here you're going to define all this information in the constructor yeah uh, suppose we need to have a title and title should have a type of um it should be data types dot string which is very important and make sure is equals to allow null allow null is equals to false because you cannot keep this field this allow null is equals to false means you cannot keep this field uh, null which is very important okay so this is very important is our price and price is also important and make sure you just write the type is equals to data types dot integer you can use float as well integer or float whatever and then you need to write the description description should be type of data types dot text but if you search on the uh, documentation of the sqlize in the data types you can see a string for the title uh, price for the uh, float or integer for the price on and for the big text as you can see in the description We'll write a lot of things uh, we can use text So we don't need to specify that this should be auto incremented. This should be uh, Integer of value this this should be character type This should be virtual type all of those things in the mysql Which is really pain, but you don't need to do that You're just creating a model uh, with the title price description all of those things. I'm gonna keep it as a um, published and published and make sure it's type of boolean because we want to know how, how many types of data you can put suppose i want to show a string for the integer for the text okay and the last part is for the data types uh, should be a uh, data type should be boolean so one is a string one is integer one is text and one is boolean so these are the for the product and here we need to return that product model and this is the same information we're gonna do this for the review model and in this part we don't need to use product and sql as a defined product here we just need to change our name to review and this is the uh, and this uh, this name should be review in the upper case and you're gonna name it sql as a defined and give the proper name for your models and here you need to write the rating okay so we don't need to write this we just need first one is the rating and it's the uh, data type should be integer because rating is integer and description should be data type should be text okay so these are the two information which is very important and this is for the uh, and you just need to in the review model as you are naming it review you just to name it return it as review so these are the two important things and make sure you just use module.export because you need that thing later okay so we just created our model this is our another part so now we're going to go to our next part and see what we can do so now it's our uh, main duty to work with our um, controller because we just created our models created our index file and sqlize and all of those things as you can see we sqlize the product model and with the data type that we passed in and this data type is passed in into this data type as you can see and so and now we understand why it's important and we just sqlize both of those things so now we can work with our application really fast and easily so if we go to the controllers and controller we need to create two controllers so first is the product controller.js so let's write two controller because we need to next part we're going to work with our another part which is review controller .js. product controller and review controller .js. so two controllers is important and two models uh, we also created and then we need to create our routes and the routes we need to create our norm first we need to create our product routes uh, dot js 
suppose product router dot js uh, we're going to handle all of our routes here and uh, controller to control everything to work with our application so this is the functionality that we're going to use in the crude functionality in the product for the product model with first we need to import our db because it will handle all the information so um, const db is equals to require and dot slash models because the models we have the product model and the review model all of those then you can uh, require all of this thing from the model and in the model we have index.js file so we need to use this db to uh, connect with our products and the reviews model okay so we need that kind of thing so that's why i need to uh, use that uh, const db is equal to require models and because models have all the information you can get all the information using this variable so now we need to create our create our main uh, model and how you can do that you can just write const product okay so this is the main model because in the controller we need to work with our model so this is very important to pass our data and get our data from the database so this is the main uh, uh, mbc pattern in every single information in every single framework you, you're going to use this in laravel django all of those things um, so you're going to use uh, db dot and in the db you can have two uh, tables as you can see products table and reviews table so now i'm going to work with our products table and let's import another thing which is our uh, review as well but i'm not going to work with it now but just add it so uh, we have our products we have our reviews all of those things and then we're going to main work main work starts from here and the first step is create can do that we can just write const um, add add product is equals to request dot response and here so make sure you just use async here because this should be an asynchronous function and this is the add product and first we need to use make sure it is information and then the information should be coming in an object uh, from the api request.body and first one is the title and it will be coming from the request.body.title and then we have a price and price should be coming from request.body.price and then we'll have some information which is um, description and this should be coming from uh, request.body.description description because all of this information as you can see uh, it is coming from the body as you can see this coming from the body title price description the title it will set it in the title and whatever you write in the price it will be price and the description as well so whatever you write in the published and make sure it is true or false and it will coming from request dot body dot published and it is if it is published you can write request dot body dot published otherwise you just set it to false it means that if if, it, if you were setting it to publish is equal to true it would be published otherwise use the turner operator you should you just write it as a false and the default the default value now we need to use um, suppose const product that you're going to create and you can just write await and the product model is actually as the db dot products you need to go to the product table in the database okay so in that and the product is actually your model name so this is the product okay so you just need to use functions and we in the sql as we have some functionality so that we can use so we don't need to write insert into product uh, dot dot this kind of value this hectic thing we don't need to use that here you just write dot create and it would be created for you and it needs some object as you can see in the create you need to pass some object and this object is actually this object that we're gonna pass which is info so you don't need to need anything else then you're gonna response dot status uh, because status code is important because it is uh, you can understand if it is created or not and you're gonna send your information uh, whatever you have so await means that it will create the product based on this object information that is coming from the api which I, i'm gonna write and uh, it, you just uh, create the product based on this information and save it and put it onto the database 
and these are the uh, just this is this is the variable that holds all the information and in the api you're gonna see all the information response dot status code of 200 and sent as you can see in the api we can see the status code and, and this is the status code and this is the response that we get so this is very important to understand so this is just to create um, those information okay so in the product information so this is your adding your products so number two number two is to get all products so you need to write const get all products okay you need to get all products and make sure it is uh, taking request and response and make sure it is asynchronous function because we don't need to uh, write a lot of code with that and here you just uh, very simply just use products and contain all the information in the products variable using await and go to the product models and product model have a function built in function in the sqlize uh, we want, if you want to get all the information from the products table you just write product dot find all okay and just write empty object inside so that we can get all the information and response dot send uh, it should be sent response or send all the information the products information that we coming from the database very simple and this is just a simple click you just don't need to do anything else and you can use uh, status as well so let's make let me copy and paste this thing and this should be products because we are holding all the information in this products variable uh, you can just write here inside the find all you can write attribute whichever attributes you want suppose i want only the title and in the title and price so these are the two information you want uh, from the api not all the thing like in the api will have title price created and updated um, by default and published all by id all of those information but here you just need title and price from the api and you're going to get all the information only two information is required which is title and price from the api this these are the two information that you want to see okay so that you can use that thing but i'm just keeping it simple i'm not going to use it later you can explore it more okay so just giving all the information from the database create another part and this is for the third one and just this is what the get single product and get single product which we're gonna do uh, get one product okay so this is our uh, this is our function name get one product and here you need to write find instead of find all you just need to write product one and product one we need to find it by id because uh, we need that id so let id is equals to uh, request dot params dot id we're going to get the id from the parameters in the url they, uh, suppose we want to information of id of uh, product id of one product id of two whichever you uh, use that uh, we use that c and get it dynamically from the requested params dot id and we need to find this information based on this id and here you need to write inside the curly bracket you can write um, logic like where id is this id is the database id of this product information and id that we want to search and this id is the uh, url id as you can see where id is id is equal to this id uh, we want to get that information you can write where to find this ID. you can write other information like title is equals to uh, some title okay so you can do this but normally i am just finding it for the id so that you can understand it very easily so you just need to write product dot find one and uh, instead of products just write product it is very important and get all the information based on this product and that, uh, then we need to use uh, for the update okay so for the update we, we just need to use this is the number four and it should be update product and this should be update so now we are using to update product so how can we do that okay so let me delete everything let uh, let me do this from the scratch but we need that um, uh, id request.parameter id because we don't want to update everything we need to update something based on that id okay so this is very important so just let me write const uh, product to be updated and use the await 
and let's go to product dot and we have a function to, take to update it and this is the update method that you can use to update similar to find one and find all to get everything find one to get single and find one to update and we have to update whatever uh, we write in the request dot body okay in the api with that we want to update and then we need to write where id is equals to id so this is very important just write it like this this way just uh, update every single information in the database where id is equals to whichever id that i passed in i want to update that information and then we're gonna get uh, response dot status of 200 that it is updated and then you're gonna send uh, that product information that is updated okay so this is very easy and simple and the last one is uh, very simple and just you can use uh, this one as an example and this one should be number five and you can uh, delete request delete product by id and in this case we just uh, name it uh, delete delete product and in this case also we need that parents.id we need to get the idea of that product that which one want to delete and this is the same thing we don't need to hold it in a variable anymore we can write it a wait and we're gonna write product dot destroy so this if you go to the documentation you're gonna see all of those things so let me go to the documentation and as you can see in the more in the uh, api references you can see all of those things so if you write is model queries you can see all of those things as you can see user dot create and you can see user dot uh, model dot find all to get every information and uh, if you zoom in you can see all of those things you can find everything you can find all where id is equals to something and you can use uh, id is equals to something status is equals to active you can use how many types of thing you want you can do all of those things if you understand it and read it properly you will get all the methods that whichever you want suppose to delete it i just use product dot destroy because it just destroyed the um, information okay and the destroy where you need to use otherwise it will delete everything make sure you use the id whichever i passed in or uh, whichever the url you just need to delete that thing where i product id is equals to that id that we passed in so this is very important so destroy every single thing where id is equals to that id and then you just uh, make sure you do it properly 2200 and send you don't need to send uh, those things that you just deleted you just need to send something like uh, product is deleted okay now we need to as you can see it is not grayed out it is not using properly so we need to export that which is module dot exports and you need to export them first is to add product and then get all product and get get single or get one product and get uh, update product update product and then we have um, all of those things we have in the five we have delete product delete product and then we can also use one of the uh, method which is published product so let me create one of them the number six you can use this kind of thing and this is the published and this is number six and get published uh, published uh, product information is published we want to see all of them so it should be uh, get published product okay uh, all of, and we need the this should be uh, const products is equals to await product dot it should be find all where we want to see every single product find all uh, where we just use where clause where published you need to write the uh, published is equals to true when the in when the product information is published i want to see all of this information uh, which are published in the product table okay and then we're gonna just send on the products as a response button and just you need to write get published product 
So these are one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are the six methods that you're gonna use in the product controller, which is really, really important to understand. So normally our controller creation is done. Now to work with our uh, product routers and product routers need to have some controller because without uh, this function, uh, routers is nothing. So we need to route uh, const product router uh, or the it should be product controller sorry it should be product controller is equals to require dot uh, dot slash controller slash uh, product controller dot js so we are getting all this information in the product controller and we need to use this kind of functions to work with our uh, router so here we need to use uh, const router is equals to require you can require express and in the express we can get the router and now we can use those routes the first route is uh, router dot post router dot post which is uh, add product if you go to add product what we'll do if we go to the add product uh, we can use add product method from the post product controller so you need to go to product controller and you need to use add product and this add product is coming from this add product because we exported that and it will add some product into the database so this is very simple just a model view architecture with the route and the route don't have anything just a simple line of code so this is a very clean architecture how you should um, structure an application you can copy those things multiple times three four five six and uh, next part is to getting all the information the first one is to create some products and then we get all those products so for that you need to use get method which is uh, router.get and you're gonna just write it all products so if you go and hit the all products router or the url uh, in the api you just need to use um, get all products so our add product is done and we use post and then we have the all products if you go all products you get all the products information from the database that we just specified as you can see in this functions to get all the uh, information all the products from the database so if we go to the router it is done properly and then we need to just go to router.get okay and you need to just write published so in this way you can get all the published products so we need to go to the product controller and get published product so whichever products are published is equal to two and to get that information and then we need to get each product so you can um, copy or you can use any of this you can use uh, router.get and this all should be router.get okay and suppose here uh, our published is done let's do it another way and it should be it uh, colon id because it is dynamic it can be anything it can be one it can be a product id of two it can be product id of three uh, because based on that we want that particular product information so particular product object so we need to get one product we only get one product if we get a particular product id of one we get the one if, uh, information of product id one and if you go to two you will get the product ID information of two all of those things and then if we just go to dynamic id again and in this case we need to use put because you want to update that and you need to use uh, update products okay then we need to use delete so get put and delete get is each product by its id uh, and update each product by its um, id and delete each product by its id so uh id delete update and get by id all of those things need some dynamic id and you need to use delete products okay so one is to get one and then update and then delete and one up for update you need to use put and then for delete you need to use delete and then what you can use uh you just export it module dot exports and the router okay and this router or this router okay so you just need to export the router so that we can use it inside our server.js routers okay so we're gonna use const router is equals to require and you just need to write it dot dot slash dot slash uh, routes and product router.js and we're gonna importing this file 
this product router this file okay into the server.js we because we want that okay so this is one of the most important thing that you need to understand then you can use what you can use app.use okay and here is our main api slash api slash products okay and if you go to the slash api slash products uh, you can enable this router so this is very important okay so make sure you just comment it out and write it proper way so that people can understand and these are all the middlewares and these are all the routers you can uh, use the all those routers uh, here as well okay inside the testing api okay inside after the middlewares okay here you can use all of those things because otherwise it will not if you go to the slash api slash products and then what are you going to do you're going to go to uh, slash api slash products slash add product it will add it uh, and if you just write all products it will get all the products and if you go to api slash product slash publish it will give all the published product information all of those things just write it like whichever format i write otherwise there would be some problems okay so normally the all the dynamic id should be stay in the bottom side and all the other routes should be in the top side so this is just the convention which is the best way so these are um, all the things that you just imported all this router if you go so this is for the all the routes so this is just a common thing and you just imported that router from the product router if you have uh, other router you can uh, import other router as well suppose you can use uh, suppose for other router suppose api slash comments okay so you can use comment router and import all this router from the comment as well so you can use multiple thing using this this is a simple case and the best practices so let's try and understand if it is working or not and let's check it out so node server.js uh, yes as you can see if you run that if we go to the index.js file after the sqlite.sync uh, it will give you same information yes resync done now you can work with our api now we need to go to our server.js and if you go to the slash api slash products and if you go to the slash api slash products and then you're going to go to add product you're going to add product it okay so if you go to the uh, slash api slash products and here i'm going to use add product so to add some product and make sure it is a post and uh, make sure your title is anything suppose iphone 12 and give you some price of 999 some description some and just copy this thing because you need it and just send it cannot post ap slash product slash add product but why it's not add product it's add product okay make sure it is add product and our title is iphone 12 the price is integer description public is equal to true so these are the uh, four information which is important and id would be added uh, dynamically okay so just copy this and send it as you can see it's worked really fine and let's do it for the iphone 13 pro and this should be expensive iphone is uh, so expensive okay and make sure it's price is 999.99 so this is uh, super complex so let's do this and as you can see iphone 13 pro and let's do it for the samsung as well uh, because the samsung guy would be really angry with me and make sure this uh, price is 999.2 and the uh, samsung something is not that uh, is balanced okay i'm saying it's balanced suppose this price is 8.99 okay 8.99 and it should be uh, note 20 suppose okay send it as you can see all the information is going now if we go to get uh, get request okay and get all products all products so all products let's check it out our, our routers let's go to our product routers and just check all products and let's check all products and hit it and as you can see we get all the products information so our api is working really fine if you want to get the published information as you can see all the published just write it published i think it will work really fine so all of the things are published so make sure that one of them is not published 
uh, is equals to false so let's go to our database and uh, refresh it node sql db and the products uh, as you can see all the information is published so let me and let me make sure that the last one is equals to zero because it i it, this is uh, this is not published the samsung one is not published suppose so let's get this and now we get all the the iphone information the samsung information is gone so let's it is working perfectly now let's check it to one as well so our api is working really fine and this let's check it by id of one and it should be id update and delete let's check it out suppose um let me you know, copy this thing and just go to id of three because this is samsung one and as you can see we get the samsung one and if you go to the id of two it is iphone 13 pro which is super expensive and if we go to iphone one it will go to the iphone 12 and let's check it out delete and first let's check it out with the put request and the put request suppose in that uh, samsung information these are all the samsung information i just want to update that information okay based on that id and here i need to update some information suppose it is 899 suppose i want to update it to 799 and just write it uh it is updated and make sure it is also updated okay so make sure all the thing is updated just me just now copy the same thing and let's i want to update because the samsung is actually the id of three they want to update so whatever you write it um you can update it so that's why if we go to the product controller in the product controller if we go to the update section as you can see you need to update whatever you write in the request.body what id is equals to whichever id i passed and i passed id of three and i need to uh, update that if we send it as you can see uh, is updated and it will show the update information if i go uh, to uh, put request okay it will update the information as you can see and to update it and here you just send it as you can see it's updated because it returns one it returns once means it is updated if we go to get this id information of three now as you can see it's updated see all that information that i write here is showing here so all of this thing is updated properly so everything is working properly and let's just copy the same thing because i want to add it later and um, uh, you just need to use the delete functionality because i want to delete it as you can see product is deleted properly so i don't don't want to delete uh, it i just need to add it again okay okay i need to add it again and just uh, make sure it is a post request and it is added with an id of four so if you want to get every single information like all products so this is how you test your api so this is really really nice as you can see number three is gone totally um so we have two uh, tables the so products and tables so products and reviews as you can see uh, we had id rating description and in the product we have uh, id title price description published all of those things so this is the simple api how you can use a uh, node sqlizer we to work with mysql2 to create a complete rest api with the mysql database and the node and express so these are all the things that you need to understand use a config and use all of your database information use controllers and write all those functions properly and get a proper documentation and then you just write uh, sqlize all of the thing as you can see we just import sqlize and sqlize instant of sqlize and pass of the database information authenticate it and you can just sqlize whatever the model that you create and on the model and make sure you sync it and export that database because you want to sqlize uh, as the, this is a very important thing sqlize are defined based on this product you sqlize and give the all the database models information whichever you like so you just uh, sqlize all of them thing and you just create our controller and then use the routers and so whatever you inform whatever you do and whatever you are uh, passing in so this makes it really really clean and in the server to just you just use that routes very simple and easily so these are the main structure how you can uh, create a complete uh, node rest api using the sqlize okay so thanks for watching i will be coming with a lot of amazing video in the next part i'm going to use the one-to-many relationship and uh, work with our review model as well so which is really important and the review controller so next part i'm going to invite you to watch the next part which is also very important and thanks for watching i'll be coming with the next video with awesome awesome and beautiful content for you guys and thanks for watching i'll be coming with the next video till then take care bye bye